Real quick before the video starts, I made a Discord server. The link will be in the description. I'm taking level requests in this server, and I think that would turn into a fun series, so join if that's something that interests you. Hi, welcome back to another video. In this one, I will be doing a little building challenge. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy the video. For this challenge, I want to try to make a level entirely out of glow objects, so like these. And for this level, I'm going to be using Glint by Dominus. I'm just going to use no offset. Very nice. I think I'm just gonna do like black everything. I think I'm just gonna do half speed ship gameplay. Nothing too interesting. Absolutely everything in this level is gonna be made out of glow, so I think I'll keep everything relatively simple. I have one idea for this, and it'll be to make a box of black glow here and have this be structures. And behind it, I can put glow. That is maybe like pink? Both blending. I have the background also black. And I can change the hue of everything. Yeah, this is, this is kind of what I'm thinking of. I can make sort of pillar structures out of something like this corner piece. Flip like that. Sort of like that. And I can continue this down. Actually, I don't like this as structuring. I could probably just turn this into arrows. I think that's a better idea. And then maybe for pillar stuff, I could do this. Perfect. And for spikes, I can do something bright on top. This will be the spike. I'm not sure what color to give it though. I'll just structure that real quick. Give it group one, and then make group one invisible. Maybe I could also make that black, but that might be a bit boring. I also don't like how it overlaps like that. So I'll put it down to 1.5. That's a bit better. And then for this, I can copy scale up some of that behind it. And I think that's alright for a little start. Maybe for some more variation, I can do something like this. There we go. Let's see how this looks in normal mode. I think this is okay. I can easily just change the hue of this all. And for ground spikes, I can easily just do something like this. Something over top of it. Just get like a lot of them going, so I can just copy and paste from this. And I kind of want to make a saw. I'm kind of stalling making a background for this because I'm not sure how I do that. I just scale this up maybe. This actually could work as a saw if I just tone it down a bit and then put a big glow behind this. Ooh, and then I can just like give this a group and then I can make that group spin a lot. So like group two around nothing for a long time. Just rotate it a couple times. Maybe faster to fit the song. I kind of want it to be brighter. And maybe I can put something connecting it. Maybe a little snaky thing. I put a link to this. Except maybe I can have a pad here. I know it's not really glow, but it might be necessary. <laughs> and then instead of pulses, I can change color three. Let's just cycle it through some colors. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I could probably spawn loop this, but it's no huge deal. So I could probably have don't enter off, have it move down. It moves it up, I don't want that. That's alright. Maybe I can have the line be black and this be a slightly dark color. Ooh, that adds a bit to it. Maybe a bit brighter. Yeah, I like that. Gotta get more structuring down. I finally start structuring this part a lot more through just copy and pasting everything, as per usual. Nothing too interesting, but I make this kind of varied structure. Maybe I can also put a, one of these behind the portal and by the jump pad here. I copy paste a lot in this little level, but I think it's okay because it's just a little building challenge, but I had a lot of fun doing this. I'm pretty sure Wolsey's done something similar, like building a level entirely out of glow, so shout out to him. But I'd love to do more building challenges in the future, but I just struggled to come up with the ideas, so if anyone has any ideas, leave them in the comments and I'll maybe try them out. Also, I don't think this will turn into a full length level, I think it'll just be this short little part, and I'll upload it on my alt account. I kinda don't like how some things move, so maybe I'll have it all shrink. Looks nice. And I was gonna keep the BG the BG, the background effect, but I think it looks kind of bad, so I won't. For a background, I want to do something kind of simple. I can make these lines and I can make them fall down, so 
three moves back a lot and then here it locks the player forever and it also moves down at a pretty fast speed i mean, it's not a bad start i could add maybe a bit more i can use different groups so i can use group three for something else like just for the lock to player thing Ooh, wait i could put like little boxes oh yeah wait, this might eat a lot of groups but i think it'd be cool so five six seven eight five can move minus ten minus ten like bounce out for two six can move minus ten ten and then ten ten wait that, that has to be seven and eight can do ten minus ten yeah because then after all this it needs to go back so you just reverse absolutely everything so that it bounces out as well. And then it's a loop of just bouncing in and out. So it bounces out, bounces back in. Build helper. These movements as is could work honestly. I don't know, I'm trying spaces evenly. I think that'll work best. I can also make this a different ID. So it has slightly brighter. And these can have their own group, 21. 21 can move backwards. And this should look okay. That's kind of cool, but I don't think they lock to the player. He's just gotta move a bit slower than... Oh yeah, this should be better. And for this, I can have it so that every other one... I explained this really poorly at the time, but basically I'm making the white background color flicker the same way the colors change. Makes it a bit more lively. Yeah, okay. And then I just gotta make more gameplay. I then definitely don't take the earlier part and just copy and paste it and flip it around. But then I add a bit of variation so it's not like that repetitive. Structure this part a bit more. Add this little structure at the end part. Put some glow behind the three times speed. Scale it down. And it's pretty much done gameplay wise. Which is pretty cool. And then where's the level end? Right here. I've got a big GG here. I go to put the words glow level here, but it looks kind of ugly, so instead I try to make a GG here, but that also looks ugly. So I'd settle on spelling my name out of glow and putting that there instead, which looks a lot neater. Yeah, instead of GG, I'll put high G. We've got to know who made it. Let's finish off with some spikes. Let's fit group 3 to 0. Wait, one little thing I want to add is like behind the structures, do little things of like this. And this should go between. The background and the structures have the stone fade don't enter it's a little subtle thing i would try not to use this too much but i think it looks kind of cool Ooh, except the glow behind the saws don't show up select all b3 yeah that works so there we go entirely glow level oh, except that needs to be don't fade don't enter oh my gosh but yeah i think i'll do a showcase of the level and then i'll do the outro Thank you so much for watching this video, I had a lot of fun doing this challenge, and I'd love to do more in the future, so comment which challenge you want to see me do next in the comments down below. Also, I'll upload this level publicly on my alt account Glass Beach. I'll put the ID in the description so anybody can play it if they want. But yeah, thank you for watching, have a good day, and goodbye. Oh